I'm here to talk to you about how best to involve your business in COP21. What is COP21? COP stands for a Conference of Parties, in this case the 196 signatory countries of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, or the UNFCCC. This treaty provides a framework for negotiating globally binding limits on greenhouse gas emissions, with the COP meeting annually to discuss their country's actions towards combating climate change. This year, COP21 will convene in Paris in December. This COP is particularly significant as it represents the last opportunity for a globally binding agreement to be made that can limit warming to under 2 degrees Celsius, a limit after which dangerous and irreversible climate change becomes inevitable. COP21 is therefore symbolic of the need for urgent global climate action and is functioning to align the focus of governments, businesses, civil society and the media in the effort to drive a low carbon future. Over 40,000 people are expected to be present in Paris to influence the talks, representing one of the largest climate change conferences ever organised. How can businesses engage in the run-up to COP21? According to data from CDP, sustainable companies have outperformed their peers by 9.1% over the past four years, placing the private sector in a prime position to mobilise resources to back a strong climate change agreement. In the months preceding COP21, companies need to demonstrate strong leadership in the field as to be recognised by their peers, attract investment and to lobby governments for definitive low carbon policy action. This can be achieved in several ways. Firstly, businesses can make online pledges to align their internal aims around carbon reduction with the voices of other like-minded organisations. For example, the We Mean Business Coalition asks businesses to pledge support for several commitments, from producing 100% of electricity from renewable energy, to putting a price on carbon, to removing deforestation from global supply chains. More generally, companies should communicate their stance on climate change to any trade groups of which they're members, applying pressure to these bodies to support positive climate change policy. Businesses can become members of organisations such as BSR, CDP or Ceres, who work with private sector organisations to enhance sustainability commitments and engage them directly in policy advocacy. In order to share these positive actions, businesses should endeavour to engage in industry events. How can businesses engage at COP21? The actual COP negotiations consist of a two-week policy-focused discussion taking place between the 30th of November and the 12th of December in the La Bouget area of Paris. During this time, La Bouget will become the Blue Zone, strictly reserved for persons accredited by the UNFCCC, with the actual talks closed to private sector observers. Whilst direct engagement in the negotiations is not possible, there are other opportunities available to businesses to engage governments, city leaders and the thousands of eyes converging on Paris during the talks. The Sustainable Innovation Forum takes place on the 7th and 8th of December at Stade de France, just outside of the La Bouget area. Now in its sixth year and hosted by Climate Action and the UN Environment Programme, CIF15 is endorsed by host country, the French government and COP21. The forum is the largest business-focused event taking place at the COP, uniting 750 global delegates from public and private sector organisations to catalyse partnerships needed to accelerate low carbon development solutions. For the last six years, CIF has acted as a platform on which business leaders have communicated vision, demonstrated leadership and made announcements on the latest sustainability focused initiatives. To make sure that you're part of this event, please visit cop21paris.org. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you in Paris this December.